world class event where the teams can like see what what everybody's doing and everything where the last chance the last chance for them to test the teams and everything so we should really be looking forward to what we're going to see today. We'll start out with the women's team bronze medal match. This will be Chinese Taipei taking on China. And this is the team from Chinese Taipei. They won their 1-8th round, 5-1, a victory over Ukraine, then scored a 6-2 win over Mexico in the quarterfinals before dropping a 6-0 decision to Japan in the semifinals. Let's meet the three archers from Chinese Taipei who will be shooting out here this afternoon. Tanya Ting, Yuan Shuqi, and Lin Xiechia will be shooting and representing Chinese Taipei. And of course, they this week had an excellent week during the elimination rounds. In fact, came out of the ranking rounds seated number two. The team seated number four after the ranking rounds the People's Republic of China, a team that scored a 6-0 win over India in the 1-8th round, won a tiebreaker with Denmark in the quarterfinals, then lost a tiebreaker with Korea in the semis. So they won one tiebreaker, then lost a tiebreaker. That's the way it goes here in world-class archery. Shooting for China today, Qi Yu Wang, Wu Jiajin, and Zhang Yun Lu. Now in recurve team competition, three archers per team, each will shoot two times during each set. So that's six arrows per set with two points going to the team that wins the set. If the teams tie, they split the two set points, each receiving one point. And the first team to reach five total points or more wins the match. And of course, they're shooting from 70 meters at a target that's about 122 uh, centimeters in diam diameter. The 10 ring, of course, much much smaller, especially when you're standing 70 meters away, Bernardo. <laughs> For sure. And uh, we've got wind a little bit, but and that adds to the challenge. And Chinese Taipei is starting. Chinese Taipei has been up to the challenge all week long. So the first shot of the day uh, is away, nine. and it's a 10. Tanya Ting that has just shot, she ranked the number one in the individual. And she's ranked 29th in the world, was ranked as high as 11th a year ago. Her teammate follows with another 10. Oh yeah, very strong start from Chinese Taipei. Lin Xia Chia. And now Yuan Shu Qi, 30 years old, ranked as high as fourth in the world back in 2005. Oh. That one got away from her a little bit, flew into the six ring. So two strong st shots to start off with. Yeah, at least they shot two tens, so it might cover up the six a little bit. She might have been surprised by the wind. So now China underway with a 10. Wu Jiajin. Eight. And eight for Zhang Yun Lu. And now Qi Yu Hong, 25 years old. Winner of a team silver medal at stage two in Colombia last year. Nine. So 10, nine, and eight. And China takes an early one point lead. Yeah, that, that mistake from Chinese Taipei had a big cost for them. So now back to Tanya Ting. And another 10 for the young woman who won a team gold medal two years ago in Shanghai, where she also defeated Kibo Bay in individual match play. Lin Xia Chia, 22 years old. And you know that Yuan Shu Qi wants to atone for that six. For sure. A little bit better. Yeah. She's a very experienced archer, though. She was fourth place at the Athens Olympics. She's the piece of experience at the Chinese Taipei team. 
did win a team bronze medal in Athens, although came up a little bit short in the bronze medal match back in 2004. China with an excellent opportunity to wrap up this set. Yes, they have three tens already. So hopefully they get all the, all the rest of the arrows in the yellow. Now that makes things interesting. For sure. It seems they wanted it to be exciting. So they need a nine right here. From Ki Huang. A nine to take the set and grab the lead. It's an eight. So we tie and we split the set points. Oh, yes. So Yuan Shu Chi six did not affect them so much. They got a bit of a reprieve right there. Yeah, and we got to also um, remember that this is the first match of the day. So probably the archers are feeling like everybody's eyes is on them. And they're kind of breaking the ice a little bit. So I think we're going to have stronger sets from now on. You have to get comfortable out there. And that's easier said than done because this is not the way you normally shoot. <laughs> of course, yes. There are like stands and all the cameras, the, the live commentating and, and everything. And that really adds to the, to the pressure. And also something that, that is quite hard for us as archers is the, um, there are a lot of photographers and they do a lot of those burst shots, um, especially at the clicker. So it goes like those repeated um, burst sounds. High speed, yes, yeah, the and, shutters. And, and sometimes that really sounds like the clicker. So you're like waiting for the clicker, and you're hearing like, and you're hearing a lot of clickers. Let's say like like this. It is a different environment, no question about that. I thought it was interesting. About an hour before we got started, uh, the American coach took his men's team out there just to take them out there to the shooting line so they could get familiar with the surroundings and the environment. Yes, it's very important. Because archery is a precision sport, so you really got to be comfortable, as comfortable as you can. Tanya Ting for Chinese Taipei. As we start the second set, tied up at one apiece. Another strong shot by Tanya Ting, whom we shall see later in the day in the mixed team competition. Bronze medal match, mixed team. Lin Xiaqia, who's been competing since 2008 on a limited basis, but boy, comes up with a big shot right there. So another chance here for Chinese Taipei to put some pressure on China. And they do. Best shot of the day so far for Yuan Shuqi, who did win a team silver medal in Antalya back in 2008. So she's had success here before. China with almost basically really, Bernardo, a new team. Yes, we've got some pretty new faces on the Chinese team. Uh, but China is one of the powerhouses of the sport, so we don't have to um, expect... Um, Anything kind of, less, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, we can only expect high-level shooting from them. And so far, so good. Quite a lucky arrow. Now a 10 right here by Ki Huang would keep them within one point here in the second set. Close, but not quite, just outside the 10 ring. Almost there, yes. So advantage, Chinese Taipei here in the second set as they try to pick up two set points and go ahead three to one in the match. Back to target number two and Tanya Ting, who won a mixed team bronze medal in Bellic at the World Championships in 2013, but now falters with a six. Yeah, I think that was a little bit longer than she usually does hold at the anchor. So probably that's why she shot a six. Hoping her teammate Lin Xia Chia can pick her up. Hey, up. Hey, up. Better effort right there with a nine. Hey, up. Ms. Yuan at full draw. Hey, hey, hey. Didn't look as a good shot, but it was on the tank ring, and that's what matters. Well done by Yuan Shuqi, 30 years old. 
They have some veterans on this team, Chinese Taipei, and right now they'll finish the second set with 54 points. So there's a chance here for China. Yeah, they just have to put it on the yellow to tie. And that's a good start. No question about that. Wu Jiajin, 18 years old and unranked, coming up with a 10. That may set the tone for China here in the second set. She looked a little shaky with that bow arm. Yes, yes. Uh, actually, most but of the archers... it worked out. <laughs> yes, it did. Actually, most of the archers are a bit shaky, probably because of the pressure. And eight would give the set to China. And two points, and they get a 10, and they do get the set. Pick up two points, and they will take the lead over Chinese Taipei. What a strong shot, yeah. Ki Yu Hong, the shot last. Um, it's interesting. I think she is shooting last in the team because she 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 was the highest ranking Chinese archer. She's probably the their best archer right now. So it's good if she can finish the the set because if she has to shoot a strong shot to make up the set, she's probably the person that can take all the the, the responsibility to do so. So uh, I think it's interesting to notice that she, she's shooting last. Interesting, too, to notice that Tanya Ting is shooting first for Chinese Taipei. Yes, yes, you can, you can think in, in either ways. Like, you can have the stronger archer uh, shooting last, like to make up the set and just to finish it well, or to start and to give confidence for the rest of the team. Like, if the first archer gets into the line, shoots a 10, it can cheer up the other archers mm -hmm. and, like, help them to do so. Sets the tone. Yeah, yeah. Good look at the crowd in the grandstands here on Recurve Sunday in Antalya, Turkey, Stage 2, the 2015 World Archery World Cup Tour, along with Bernardo from Brazil. I'm Carl Arkey, and we hope you're enjoying our live coverage, shot-by-shot -shot coverage, here in one of the most idyllic and beautiful locations on the World Cup circuit. Everybody loves coming to the beach here in Antalya, Turkey. No doubt about it. Th this venue always impresses us. And there's an impressive shot by Tanya Ting. That should set a tone. Yeah, of course. Let's see what um, Lin Chi Chia does now. Lin Chi Chia, winner of a mixed team bronze medal in Wrocław in 2013. Slightly off target. Or at least what she was aiming at. Yuan Shuqi, way outside. Yeah, that was not a very good and confident release. She already felt the shot was not good. At the moment, she released the string. So that 10 by Tanya Ting is almost for naught. Perhaps, we'll have to see what China does. Yeah, let's take a look. See how opportunistic the Chinese team is. Wu Jiajin, very opportunistic. Wu Jiajin. Dialing in. If China keeps up this good shooting, they, they can win the match in this set. They're looking more and more composed as the match goes along. Of course, yeah. And just as I say that. <laughs> yeah. Archery does have its ironies. You're only as good as your last shot, right, Bernardo? <laughs> yeah, you cannot take things for granted. So here's Ki Huang. 25 years old, picked up a team silver medal at the 2013 Asian Grand Prix, and she picks up her team with a strong shot right there. And now China, midway through this third set, has themselves a three-point lead. Oh, yes, that's a very good lead for the, for the last three arrows. But not insurmountable as Tanya Ting tries to get a comeback going. Yeah, as in on recurve, things are more flexible, I'd say. Like anything can happen until the last arrow. The format gives a team a chance to come back. However, right now, Chinese Taipei needs to be shooting tens on a regular basis. A 10 right here would give them 53 points for the set. Instead, it's a nine. So 52 points here in the third set. So right now, China just needs I believe 26 points from these next three archers, these next three shots. 
Yeah, and even, even if they do a 25, they go to the shootout. There's 10, though. Right down the middle. On the way to victory. Wu Jiajin, they win this set, they win the match. First to five is the winner. They lead three to one and trying to wrap it up. And eight will make things interesting as Zhang Yun Lu finds the red rings. So here we go, eight to win. Can Ki Yuong bring it home? And there's the key to victory right there. Ki Yuong with a 10 to wrap it up and high fives all around for these young Chinese archers. As we mentioned a moment ago, a team that we really haven't seen work together before, but they work together very well in this situation. Yes, yes, and Ki Yuong celebrating a lot. She seems really happy about her bronze medal. And China was coming really strong into the team's event. Like, uh, as I said before, they lost in a shootoff against Korea in the semifinals, so they could perfectly be shooting in the next match for gold. And uh, the, bronze medal ma the bronze medal that they're taking home, I think it's their well-deserved prize. Now, three weeks ago in Shanghai, it was the United States defeating Japan 6-2 for the bronze medal in women's competition. Lenola Pritchard, Ariel Gibalaro, and Katuna Lorik teaming up in Shanghai to get the bronze medal. Today, it is China. Ironically, China did not medal in Shanghai, but they come to Antalya, and they do get a bronze. Yes, maybe they... they